Marvel LF employs four frame 6K sensor, 6K up to 75 and 4K 100 IPS. And it's a cinema camera, so it record this high frame rate, high resolution into ProRes and Cinema DNG. And uh, for the RAW, is a Cinema DNG RAW. It's compressed RAW and uh, three, five, and seven compression ratio. And the RAW can be read by Resolve directly. Okay, for the recording media, we use a standard 2.5 inch SSD. It has a SATA interfaces and the, the height is um, 7 millimeters, so it is compatible with many, many consumer SSD. Mounting system is an interchangeable mounting system. Okay, so people can swap the mounting adapter by themselves without screwdrivers, without tools. So it's uh, easy to use. And for the mounting adapters, um, you can choose EF mount, PL mount, E mount. And uh, when you swap the mounting adapters, you don't need to calibrate the flange distance because it matches already. For the PL mount and the EF mount, we have an option as um, built-in electronic ND. So you can tune the, the ND steps very, very accurate and from two stops to 10 stops. It's very important is that the full frame camera has a dual native ISO. Lower sensitivity is 800 and the higher is 5,120. The camera body is here. It's very lightweight and small. Is this side as a button to control the camera systems. And, and this is a parameter sound panel to show on that so, that so that you can quickly, you can know what, is, what parameter you have set and to get enough information. And for and this year, we launched a new viewfinder. The viewfinder features full HD micro OLED display inside it and with a very, very high quality optical inside so that there's no distortion. And also very low power with one cable, as we call a video cable, to support, to support the power supply and uh, video signals. And uh, here is the uh, Kinebike extension block. It comes out SDI, sync port, extension port, and the TC in and out. And also the Kinebike features the V-mount so that you can use any other batteries as long as it has a V-mount.